We'll be seeing more foreign capital coming into Europe. That's just uh, because of pure diversification needs. Um, capital will be coming from the US, will be coming from Asia, will be coming from Australia, all around the world. And it will be looking for a decent distribution and uh, secure um, investment. And therefore, it is very likely that a big part of that will come to Germany and the UK, um, less so to France and much more less so to the southern European markets, although from an anti-cyclical um, investment point of view, it would be smart to invest, but uh, the sentiment, um, uh, the further you get away from Europe um, from, for those countries is just not in favor of investment there. That's why we will keep on doing what we are doing, investing into our core European markets in the sectors that we know, in offices, but uh, predominantly in retail and logistics. And uh, we are looking forward to that. We expect uh, yields to come in because of that bulk of capital. Um, interest rate scenario will remain very favorable for those investments. We don't foresee a, a raise in interest rates for the next at least 12 to 18 months. So um, the, um, the leverage um, that we can um, take uh, in a smart way will enhance our performance. That will be a little bit diluted by um, the, the, the yields coming in further, especially in the core sector.